And doctors say that overall they're seeing a strong interest in participation in clinical trials concerning the coronavirus. And they say the bigger pool of candidates that they have to choose from, the quicker that they can get the data. Moderna is well on its way. It's now in phase three of the vaccine trial, which means volunteers are now participating. Some of those volunteers will be from right here in Houston. Dr. Hannah L. Sali is at the forefront of the trial on the national level and at the Baylor College of Medicine. The whole point of these trials is to determine the efficacy and the safety of the vaccine, uh, meaning if the vaccine, when we compare it to placebo, uh, results in a lower uh, incidence of COVID compared I guess, to, to the general public, to the placebo. Volunteers will be given either a placebo or the vaccine. It's a blind study, so they won't know until the end what they were given. But along the way, officials can still gather data from the participants and determine if the vaccine is working. There are monitoring bodies that are evaluating the data, so we have an early reading on the vaccine efficacy. The idea is to have a large pool of participants because officials can gather data quicker that way. Given the urgency and the, and, and the public health need uh, as a result of this pandemic, um, all the phase three uh, efficacy uh, trials are being designed with large sample size. Patients across Houston are participating in the trial. Some of those trials are underway already. Again, some, just like Baylor, will begin their participation in the trial in the coming days. We're going to talk with one man at 6.30. He is actually going to get an injection. He won't know if it's the vaccine or the placebo on Friday. We'll hear from him.